hey guys welcome back to our channel newbie solutions so today i'm going to show you how to convert a vdi file into an iso file uh, using the same software that is oracle virtualbox and we are going to use the same commands that is that is vbox manage uh, through which also i have shown you how to convert iso file into a vdi file a few years back so if you still haven't watched that video please uh, go to our link link is in the i button and you can see how we have used that software through command prompt uh, and convert iso file into a vdi file so today i'm going to show the reverse process so in this video uh, so how we are going to do that so first you need to download the uh, oracle virtualbox software so you need to go to google and you need to type oracle virtualbox you can see the first link and if you go to downloads and you will be able to download for your operating system if it is for linux then download the linux version if it is for windows then download for the windows version. so you need to go to this windows host or virtualbox 611 build anyone would be fine so you can refer to our previous video for download this so after you have downloaded this software you just need to use this command that is the syntax is this one vbox manage clone hd path to the vdi file like you already have the vdi file and you need to convert it to another path that is the iso file so and last will be format row so this will be my basic command that is already i have this file and i will convert it into this file so first we need to check where we have installed our oracle virtual box so just go to this pc and generally it is installed in uh, our program files this process uh, i have already uh, shown in my previous video you can skip it if anyone already knows so you just check here is my oracle here is my virtual box so this is the path so here this path needs to be selected so I am just going to open my command prompt. Just type CMD and it will open command prompt. So then I will just change the directory to this virtual box directory because I need to use the software and I'm going to use the command which is associated with the software then i'm going to press enter so you here you can see there is the path for the virtual box so i'm going to change the path so i've changed it now i have access to the oracle virtual box directory i'm going to use this command so i already have a folder that is test folder it is situated in my desktop and i already have this vdi file so i previously converted this uh, to the iso file so i'm just going to delete this file so here you can see the command is i need to type vbox manage clone hd so i'm just going to type the same thing vbox manage clone hd and i need to type the path to vdi file so the path to vdi file would be this path I'm just going to copy and I'm going to provide another slash that is to the exact file. So here you can see the file name is vcbox.vdi. So I'm just going to close this as per the syntax. And I just need to store, I just need to store the converted ISO file. So I am just going to store my converted file in this folder itself. So I will use the same path. So I'm just going to use a space and I will use the same path. You can also store in any other path. That is not an issue. And I'm going to type another file name uh, that is VC box. You can name it anything. 
so i'm just going to name vcbox.iso it would be my iso file you can also type image file if you want to convert it to a img file that is image you can also type img the command is exactly same i'm going to type iso it would be iso archive file and i'm going to end it with format raw so i'm just going to copy this part and i'm just going to type format raw and i'm going to hit the enter it will start converting the file Here you can see it has already started converting it already started creating the iso file here you can see the progress bar it's increasing and it will eventually complete the process and my file has been created so this is the process of converting a vdi file into an iso file to see how to convert an iso file into vdi file please refer to our previous video the link is in the i button thank you for watching our video if you feel that this video has helped you then please hit the like button share this video and subscribe to our channel thank you